Our grammar lesson for today is nouns, compounds, plurals, and possessives. So we're going to talk about compound nouns, plural nouns, and possessive nouns. Compound nouns are nouns that are made up of two or more words. Compound nouns can be one word, so they are written next to each other. Like the word football, or more than one word, like rocking chair. Other compound nouns have two or more words that are joined by hyphens such as hand me down. This is the hyphen, like a dash, okay? Hand me down something. To form the plural of most compound nouns, written as one word, add S or ES. To form the plural of compound nouns that are hyphenated, which means they have a hyphen, or written in more than one word, make the most important part of the noun plural. For example, we have snowmobiles, 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 baseballs, grandfathers. If it's hyphenated, fathers-in-law, babysitters, runners-up. So I, I don't say runner-ups or babysitter or father-in-laws, okay? The important word, I pluralize it. More than one word, home runs, music boxes, quarter horses, surgeons general, okay? A possessive noun names who or what has something. Possessive nouns can be common or proper nouns, singular or plural, compound or not. To form the possessive of all singular nouns and of plural nouns not ending in S, add an apostrophe and S. As for the plural nouns, we only add an apostrophe because they already end in S. So boy is singular. I make it possessive by adding apostrophe S. Bus is singular. So I add apostrophe S to make it possessive. Lewis, the same. Women is plural. However, it doesn't end in S. What do I do? I deal with it as if it were singular. So I add apostrophe S. Puppies is plural and it ends in S. I only add an apostrophe.